is how government is immoral. This organization that calls itself the government only knows how to solve problems then through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that us three here already share. So what do you think about that? It's a lot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it all makes sense though. Right? Yeah. That's, that's the matrix out there, you know? Uh, 12 years and going to government schools, right? They, they're trying to tell you, well, you know, without government, you, the boogeyman will get you. It's like, you are my boogeyman, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't pull over because I'm afraid of, uh, like, the cop is friendly towards me or, he's, you know, I just want to be there for my well-being. I pull over because uh, if I don't, he'll shoot me, yeah. <laughs> right? I don't feel safe, right? I don't feel safe around government. When you get a piece of letter from the government, you think, oh boy, this is great. The government wrote me a letter, <laughs> right? It's like, oh fuck, what did I do now, right? Yeah. If a business sent you a letter, it's like, hey, I bet it's coupons. I bet it's a free sample. I bet it's uh, something exciting, right? <laughs> so the, the attitude towards that um, and the way that it works and functions, it's, yeah, it's based on nothing but violence. Um, so, have you ever, uh, is there everything, anything about government you ever found to be interfering your happiness or, or that of others that you find? No, I guess uh, I guess uh, I mean, you guys are kind of young. Uh, let's say, 19, 20, 17. Oh wow! <laughs> so you guys go to the schools here, mm -hmm. high schools. Hey, well, here's that's that's one way then, because the thing is, what would happen to you if you didn't show up to class for a couple of days in a row, right? The consequences. The consequences. The consequences will call. It's called truism. Uh, they will threaten you or your parents with jail time, mm -hmm. right? So going to school is not voluntary then. It's not uh, consensual. It's kind of like a mandatory prison camp. You kind of have to go there for like eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of, and, and for me, I never really particularly learned anything in public school. So just that I have to ask permission to use the washroom. Uh, I have to be moved around and chattel, moving around like chattel, you know, for one one pig pen to the next instead of saying the class it'll kind of want to learn uh so and now there's like not a lot of funding for some of these schools here yeah. right uh and that's kind of inevitably what happens when government gets in the middle of education standards go low uh the quality lowers and eventually they kind of run enough enough money out of out of all of this sort of stuff um so i would find that kind of does then affect with your freedom then right you guys have been going there for a great number of years of your life yeah. right <laughs> And it's not like, huh? Definitely. Right? Um, whereas uh, education should not be cohesive in that nature, right? And now, again, whenever government has a monopoly, though, on, like on education, the cost goes up, quality goes down because there's no market competition. Yeah. That's why they're suffering with a lot of money right now. Yeah. Um, you know, that's why tall grasses have been growing the past few weeks, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's illegal for anyone to compete against government, right? So that's... That's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of what government is. So the, the thing I'm out here today, though, once we recognize what is the problem, then how do, how do we get out of there, right? So I'm part of an organization called Liberate RVA. So it's non-political. We want to go option C. People say, well, here's uh, government and here's government, one or the other, to solve your problems. It's like, ah, how about option C, none of the above, right? So we're a non-political organization. We don't have anything to do with the Republicans, the Democrats. Uh, none of that stuff has ever worked for us. And so we want to do something that's never been done before and create a community and organization that is anti-political, that doesn't need politicians dictating how our lives should be lived, telling you what you can and cannot do with your body, uh, how you should live with your life, um, and one that actually respects property rights, self-ownership, right? If you want to leave school, you should be able to leave anytime you want, right? You, yeah. Right? You're, you're an adult enough, right? It's like, look, <laughs> I don't need strangers <laughs> who I've never met dictating where I can and cannot go, yeah. right? Um, <clears throat> so that's the organization that I'm with. Here's uh, Flyers. It's called Liberate RBA. Definitely check us out. We do a lot of uh, monthly gatherings, economic uh, discussions, workshops, and a lot of stuff, especially like how to protect yourself if you are, are pulled over or stopped by a cop, for example. Uh, just a lot of different ways to kind of and enrich and, and with a lot of good knowledge that public schools never give you, right? Um, for example, like if you were to graduate and go out there and get pulled over, it's like, well, you should have known the law. It's not exactly like public schools tell you what the laws are, right? Yeah. Or how to do your taxes or, <laughs> or anything, right? Exactly. They don't give you good marketing skills, yeah. right? Uh, th that degree is worthless. It's like, okay, what else you got? All right, well, you know, after 12 years going through a government school, you think that there were, you would produce something marketable, right? Yeah. <laughs> how to sell, how to commercialize, how to uh, do entrepreneurial stuff. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's kind of set up that way so that 
all of us uh, don't know how to be independent. So at least with that, uh, government will want us all to be dependent on them because then that's the only way it can exist, right? Uh, they fear all of us being independent, especially as a community that can provide for one another because then we realize that we never need a government to begin with, yeah. right? Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it all. So, uh, everything that government is, technically, officially, is just a monopoly on the things you and I want. Because I want roads, I want security. ABC, uh, you guys can't drink it, right, they say. But when you're 18, they can ship you off across the sea to kill people you've never met, right? They put yeah. a gun in your hand, go murder people. Uh, but you're not capable to, you know, have a drink in your hand, yeah. right? Um, so what government is, is they have a monopoly on the things you and I want, like ABC alcohol, right? You, no one's allowed to compete with ABC. No one's allowed to keep, compete with, uh, with the cops. No one's allowed to compete with the judges. They have final say of, of all of this. You can't compete and say, you know what, I can provide you a better service that's not going to be abusive or harmful to you, the, the cus, cus, customer, the yeah. consumer, right? Where if, like, if I was a judge providing arbitration, I will stand up in the room when you enter because you're paying me for a service, right? Yes. Not the other way around. Contempt of court because I don't like what you're wearing, right? Yeah. yeah. One, one night in a cage. It happens to a lot of people. So... That's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of the matrix. That's what government is. It's just bullies, it's just dictating, just pushing people around and then harming them. Uh, I mean, we kind of want to get away from all that. And to do that, we want to come together as Richmonders and grow as a community towards a peaceful direction and away from all that that's always harmed peaceful people. Yeah, right? absolutely. Um, so that's it. That's that's the summation. That's <laughs> the answer yeah. to the question, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Cal. Stacy. Stacy, pleasure, man. Nick. Nick, pleasure. Well, I don't want to take away the rest of your sunlight here, but uh, yeah, definitely keep in touch. Let me give you my business card, too. Um, go ahead and message me. And we, again, hook you up with a lot of uh, good articles, good uh, economic papers, uh, invitation to a lot of good, uh, I guess, parties in that nature. So a lot of good network and friends that we kind of build here in Richmond. So. <laughs> oh, definitely. Cool, cool, awesome. Thanks so much for, for stopping by, man. All right, thank you. <laughs> of course.